Well, my name is uh, Melas Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and of course, this is uh, The Buzz UG. Thank you so much for keeping it right here. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry for this late update. Uh, it's because I'm not feeling well. Yes, yeah, so right now, I felt like, let me give you this uh, this update uh, right here on this platform. You can also feel my voice. It is uh, not really good. I have cough and flu, but I'll be getting better very soon because I'm on medication. I hope I'll be getting better. Otherwise, uh, how are you doing? I hope you are doing very well wherever you are watching this video from. Um, I'm here to let you know about what is happening in uh, Bobby Wine's camp. And uh, yesterday, uh, Bobby Wine was in uh, Kasese and uh, was welcomed massively, as you can see in that video right there. The people of Kasese came out in big numbers and welcomed the NUP president, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyu Sentamo, a.k.a. Bobby Wine. And uh, I think for me, Kasese comes in the second position so far. Barrera first, then Kasese uh, second, then Fort Porto third. When it comes to the crowds, man, Kasese was so massive. Woo! It was so massive. Yes, so big upon yourselves, uh, the people of Kasese, for welcoming the president of National Unity Platform right there in your area. But unfortunately, uh, the reports coming in from uh, that side have indicated that Bobby Wine was not allowed by police and other sister agencies to access the town center. They actually made him pass on the outskirts of uh, Kasese town. Uh, we don't know why, but uh, those are the reports coming in from uh, that side. <laughs> Nena fetu hivyo na Uganda, amakuwa agoge gaba dega ino kututusa kuvenu ya fi, oburu unji, na hivyo gereza koku wanga batu wetu oroza kumbi tu wetu ode kilomite zuwe. And uh, they led him to where the NUP offices are located and uh, he successfully opened uh, the NUP offices right there. So officially, uh, NUP has an office in Kasese town right there. And um, reports have indicated that security uh, actually blocked Bobby Wine from uh, accessing the radio stations right there. He was supposed to have uh, two radio shows on uh, two radio stations, but unfortunately he was blocked from, uh, you know, having these shows right there. <laughs> You remember in Barara, Bobby Wine uh, on Radio Endigito, uh, the show started very well, but later uh, Radio Endigito was switched off and... Um, we don't know why it was switched off. And in Fort Porto, uh, Radio Jubilee was on the whole time. You know, from the beginning of the show to the end of the show, everything was okay. But of course, as you know, at the end of the day, the message gets to the intended people because very many people be following online. Very many people will take that message to the remote areas of Kasese right there. So for me, I feel like even if you block him from speaking to the people, definitely other people who attended right there will take the message to those in the remote areas. Yes, yeah, so Bobby Wine from opening the offices right there in Kasese town, he went to the venue where they had organized to speak to their supporters right there. And uh, right now, uh, very many people on different social media platforms have been questioning why this time around we haven't seen uh, tear gas, live bullets, you know, blocking Bobby Wine disrupting his programs right there like it was in the previous times but uh, Bobby Wine in Kasese said that the reason why we haven't seen this happening is because President Museveni and his son General Mohozi Kainerugaba know very well that they have been dragged to the ICC International Criminal Court and uh, right now they are trying to behave yes they are trying to behave because they know very well that uh, the international eye is looking at them so if they start misbehaving uh, definitely the other side they'll be gathering evidence on uh, the cases they already have right there. Yes, yeah, so Bobby Wine said this would be the reason why we haven't seen uh, tear gas and uh, live bullets in this whole program of uh, NUP countrywide tour. <laughs> Well, Bobby Wine also reminded the security guys of Uganda that, hey, you guys, he's not fighting you, but he's fighting for you. And you remember in the previous elections, Bobby Wine promised that the last security officer in Uganda would be getting 1 million Uganda shillings as salary. And yesterday in Ikasese district, he reiterated that that promise is still standing if you actually let him into that office of the president. He said that promise is still standing. <laughs> 
abamaje aba police na ba UPDF nyaka loba sindikira message eno nganze liko lesha akadala kanonga nyaka sese nganze ndeko mwatsi ndatse ndekera aba basirikali aba police nabande aba uchenda ndeko tulwana namwe wabula tulwanirira mwe sikuli rwane nyu alwe ndi nyatsuka rwerako Actually, I was uh, speaking to my friend and uh, I questioned him, do you think Bobby Wine is uh, the most loved person in Uganda today? Because you go to the south, the guy is there. You go to the north, the guy is there. The east, the west, the guy is there. Do you think Bobby Wine is the most loved Ugandan today? The guy told me definitely yes, the guy is loved everywhere. So um, for him, he's the most loved person in Uganda today. But I want to leave for you that question in the comment section. Do you think Bobby Wine is the most loved celebrity in Uganda today? Otherwise, uh, today Bobby Wine is going to be in Kabale and uh, today is uh, day four. Uh, he's going to be in Kabale and we hope that uh, it's going to be uh, so massive as well, that side of uh, Kabale. And uh, of course, all the updates will be coming your way right here on the Buzz UG. Make sure that you keep it try right here. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm using the same names, Melaz Milo, aka Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you.